All right, welcome. This is Coach Ben, and today I was lucky enough to do Fractions with Legos in Studio 31 with Miss Angela de Ramos and Miss Irma Marroquin. And so today I just want to do a quick reflection on some of the things that we learned today uh, from using Legos in the, fra in the classroom and some tips that I have. Uh, so first of all, one of the things to establish with the kids is making sure that you define what a unit is. We defined a unit as one of these uh, pieces, uh, just a single one by one, and one of the taller one by one, not a flat one by one, or a super tall one by one, because you see those pieces, but just a normal one by one piece we decided was a unit. Thus, this would be eight out of eight, and these would all be individual one pieces. Uh, the second thing we learned is when you're having the kids use the uh, make the fractions, we kind of talked about it. Now these, it shows from a bird's eye view that this is a fraction, right? If you look at it from a top, you have a piece here, a piece here. It looks like this would be a half because half it's there, half it's not, you know, however you want to phrase it. Um, but we found that thinking about it, really, if you look at some of these pieces, when they're stacked like this, this piece is not really a half, but it actually would be one third. So kind of come into those agreements. Um, you can see the student in the, in the back here, they laid them flat. And we'll take a look at that, and I think that's much more of an effective way. Um, another thing is having the students show their work. In this case, they showed their work on their desk with a whiteboard marker. And this student was able to show his work and articulate with his partner why he put what he put and justify his reasoning, which was another important part of the day. Um, fine, and this is another example of students showing their work. As you can kind of see here, um, the student showed a half in, in many different ways. And we started with a half because it's a basic fraction and it was easy to make. But just seeing the thought that went in here. Uh, we also had students look at these halves and name them not only a half, but name them in a different way. For example, this fraction was actually 8 out of 16. So we talked about the bench mark fractions and the equivalency between them. This fraction was actually 16 out of 32. And just having the students justify what fraction uh, it was, why it was that way, and have that discussion with their friend. Uh, most importantly, have fun uh, and have fun with the kids we one of the t my takeaways was today was let the kids kind of play around for the first five to ten minutes when they first get the Legos because some kids did better than others at staying on task the other thing it was very cool when the kids were showing their work on the iPad on, on their desk using the iPad as a projector and taking a picture and showing their work via airplay and uh, then students were able to really explain their reasoning so those were our takeaways, my takeaways from today's lesson. Thanks very much, Mr. Ramos and Ms. Marokin, for the collaboration today. And stay awesome. If you have any questions, you can contact me at uh, Coach Ben on Twitter. And my handle is at Cogswell underscore Ben. Thanks for watching.